in your 20s because you said something that was really stood out to me was you talked about sacrificing your 20s for your career and some people I I don't know what responses you got to that some people might go oh girl that's terrible or whatever but no but like to achieve shit we've got to have a discipline of focus a sacrifice you know completely i i would not be me some days i hate golf right so <laughs> <laughs> i i really don't play anymore i play with oscar because oscar loves it yeah but i started when i was six and you know by the time i was 13 i was burned out but when you're good at something people just expect you to keep doing it sure so i'm like okay it's a full college scholarship division one I can't stop because yeah. everybody expects you to. You're an all-state athlete in high school. Right. And you know how it is. And then and you just have to go perform and fulfill it. So, okay, so I did. And then when I was 22, um, graduated from Michigan State. I was just ready to get out of there. It was five days after the NCAA tournament, and I was scheduled um, to get my boobs done. <laughs> <laughs> you were like, screw this, huh? <laughs> yeah, I don't think I've ever told this story, actually. Yeah, so, so I was scheduled in Michigan. Detroit with this great doctor, Dr. Yoon. We still laugh and talk today. Um, yeah, scheduled to get um, my boobs done like five days after the NCAA tournament. So I'm this athletic golfer, athletic, you know, and I'm like, okay, here we go. Because yeah. I just wanted to be like, um, after you're, you're a college athlete for so long, you just you want to be a woman. Like I wanted to sure. just be a woman. That, that's, I'm not speaking for everybody. That was for me. And then I wanted to go do TV and I wanted to talk about sports instead because sports are my life. That's all I know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. And so, um, you know, I'm one of the very lucky few people where it ended up happening. But that's, did go ahead. Did the surgery? I'm not trying to be rude. <laughs> you're nothing is did, rude. Did we, the surgery <laughs> impact your golf game at all? You know, people ask that, and I feel I, like that would be a question. And I really question. thought that it would, uh-huh. um, but but it didn't. Okay, okay. And then a couple <laughs> like years change later, change balance or yeah. anything? Right. Well, not well, necessarily no, balance, people but just like when you, uh, I immediately thought of this because I golf every now and again. I I don't have the patience for golf. Yeah, though. I know. It's, <laughs> it's, it's I trying. Have it. yeah. So I'm thinking, like you know, when you're holding a club, this you know, when you add on to the front of you. Delicately speak, I felt like no, that might. No, it's true. You know what I mean? It's true. Yeah, I didn't, but then a couple of years later, I got them like even bigger, mm. and it still didn't affect me. I think just because I'm so happy that sure. I have them. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> And I was like, oh, I'll figure it out, whatever. I'll it will re- make I'll this work, this yeah. It interests me because I've never really had a conversation with any woman that's got her boobs done um, okay. about it, like, and femininity. So, sure. for you, you mentioned that. Yeah. that it, what, what was it about I with you? I just want to be that, womanly. Like, you I didn't just, think you were before? No, no, no. I think, uh, well, I mean, I was young, right? Sure. So, you're, when you're 21, you're still a young girl. But I just always loved, um, you know like the Pam Andersons of the world sure. and the Carmen Electras. And everybody loves the certain look. And sure. that's just the look that I loved. And and it just so happens that my agent, um, Darren Prince, I mean, those are two of his main clients. So it just, <laughs> the world, you know. And that, that sounds familiar. Yeah. Right, and well, that, I think <laughs> we know that guy. And Carmen, she sounds familiar right? too. But I mean, that just happened to come about like, you know, like 12 years later that I met him. I'm looking behind me right now because he's behind me. Um, but it's just funny the way the universe works. <laughs> <laughs>